The decorations are so beautiful here. As I've noticed, this is where the stars are. I thought maybe it would just be names of local Filipinos that maybe are famous or something, but if any told me I can't take videos in there because it's... Wow, have a look at this, guys. There's so many people, it looks like they're waiting for a show to happen. Wow, they were waiting for a show, a fireworks show. Today I'm visiting one area that you all have been recommending me to go. After recommending Ortigas, I think this was the second most recommended in the comment section of my latest videos. So today, we are visiting Eastwood City here in Metro Manila. My man, I really hope this wind calms down. It is so windy. Now I've seen in the past comments that people have referred to this area as the San Francisco of Metro Manila here. And you know what, with this wind, it makes sense because the Bay Area in the United States is extremely windy. But today what we're gonna do is we're gonna start here by the McDonald's and we're gonna work our way around the loop and visit the different places and see what it's like. Right now, it is about three o'clock, so it's very early, but I wanted to get over here and beat the traffic. So as you can see, here is the McDonald's and this is where the loop begins. We'll head this way. For the first time during my third time here in Metro Manila, I took Joyride to get over here because Ancas was just searching and searching and I couldn't find one. And then I searched on Joyride and I got one to come over here from the BGC area for only 126 pesos. So it was actually 25 pesos cheaper than Ancas was quoting me. And the total time to get over here was just 20 minutes. Traffic was like medium, it wasn't so heavy. But I'll tell you what, the road conditions on the C5, they are not the best. So I guess we're gonna visit the City Walk 1 and 2, Eastwood Mall, of course, and the Open Park. I don't know about any of this stuff. From what I gathered online, this whole area of Eastwood City has been around for quite some time. I don't exactly remember the date, but it was launched by Mega World, if I'm not mistaken. And it is their first uh, community where they describe it as a live, work, and play. So you have everything from business to leisure activities to residents being here. And uh, it's one of the most I guess, vibrant uh, districts here in all of Metro Manila. Based on looking at Google Maps, this is City Walk 1, which kind of cuts over back towards McDonald's where I got dropped off on near the entrance. Well, the McDonald's is actually right there, but I got dropped off over there. And so this kind of wraps around. So this is probably what I'm gonna hit last as it starts to get towards evening time. As I can tell, they're doing a lot of landscaping work here and maintaining. So they're bringing in a lot of greenery everywhere putting it into different areas. Uh, maybe they're just refreshing it up or something. I don't know. And down there is the famous red trolley. It looks like it's not really running right now. Uh, maybe it will be later. I don't know. Now I see the sign here, Eastwood Mall. Is this the mall? I thought the mall was further around the curve. Maybe this is just one entrance. But we're definitely gonna go in there, but I wanna go all the way around first. Man, like I said, it is just extremely windy. I don't know if you guys can tell how windy it is with some of the trees uh, that they're blowing. It feels like a hurricane wind. Now check that out. That's a cool mural right there. Eastwood City. Hey guys, I really like how they incorporated a lot of artwork into the buildings over here on the columns of the building and stuff. A lot of vibrancy here, and I like that. It gives it a good look. Oh. Well, the wind has died down a little bit, so hopefully the audio is better here. But from what I understand, and just looking around, I believe there's at least 19 towers. I don't know if they're just for residents, if it's also business as well, but there's at least 19 of these really tall buildings, skyscrapers, I guess, if you want to call them that, in this area, in this small, tight little loop here, or half circle, I guess we can say, because I've already walked all the way around it, I guess, and I didn't even realize that. And it's only been maybe 10 minutes maximum. So it's very uh, short in, in uh, half of its circumference, I guess, right, uh, in radius-wise. But, but yeah, the distance going around is very short. And it's very deceiving. On Google Maps, it looked a lot bigger than what it was that it would take maybe 20 minutes. But 10 minutes already here. Before we walk into this section over here, which is the open park that kind of cuts uh, through that whole direction that I just came. So it goes all the way back across in the middle and there's a lot of greenery and different things. I want to point something out. 
there's a sign here that says dear parent or you know pet parent this is a no poop and no pee zone for your pets so i'm curious do people have pets over here and if they do where do they go to the bathroom is there actually a designated area because over here it says you can i'm just curious but here we go this is the open park area where i wanted to come to a lot of nice greenery as you can see they have a lot of light for christmas because it's christmas time so that time of the year is up so in a few hours i'm sure it's gonna be very beautiful and i'll have to stick around for that as you can see guys i made it over here into the open park area this is a really cool area of this whole eastwood city spot lots of cool restaurants here some well-known international places such as stores um, you have mark and spencer's behind me uniqlo and things like that but then over here, I think, is the Eastwood Mall, which I think I'm going to go that way and go inside. But as you can also see behind me, they have a little fountain show going on with a, a lot of music playing at the same time. Very, very cool. But I think one of the other coolest things that they have here is this. It is a pond where the fountain is also, but it's a koi pond. And it says, koi feeds available at the concierge. So you can actually feed the koi fish here. And there are some really, really tiny ones and some big ones. So if you're visiting here with children, it's something for the children to do to keep them busy. Go get some uh, fish food and feed the koi fish. It's a good way to occupy your children. Now one of the other cool things is this area is a no smoking zone. So you can actually enjoy some fresh air out here without having to worry about people smoking near you. To be honest, places like this, they're just better to be uh, smoke free zones. But one thing I want to point out here is there is a nice Christmas tree, but looks like it's under construction or renovation. I don't know why. Um, who knows? Maybe it's too early. It's uh, still a month away from Christmas pretty much. So maybe they'll be opening that up pretty soon. I'll tell you what guys, I'm in the mall now and oh wow, there's actually a lot of artwork in here also. Yeah, all the walls are painted. That's pretty cool. But I've just come into the mall and I just come up to the second floor because the first floor is the main entrance there and they have some sort of display going on but the music is kind of loud down there it's not uh, being played up here but i've noticed already it's a very small mall once you walk in you can see the other exit on the other side it's not very long of a mall and right now i'm just walking on like a little loop that goes around so i've come up to the top floor of the mall here and as you can see when you look down the decorations are so beautiful here the way that they're just like sparkling all the colors all the lights they really did a good job decorating this mall right here for Christmas time. But I'll tell you what, there's a lot of Christmas music being played. And look at this place, look. Super Park Philippines. This is pretty cool. Basketball court in there, trampolines. Man, I want to go in. As you can see, here's a map. Here's a little bus stop uh, directory. Right now we're at the Eastwood Mall drop-off zone, but I'm gonna go to City Walk 2. So looking at Google Maps, City Walk 2 is actually really close to here, closer than City Walk 1. So while we still have some daylight, let's explore City Walk 2, and then we'll go to City Walk 1. Right over here is actually uh, City, City Walk 2. So we're gonna just go right over here now. We just gotta go down and across the street. And as I can see, uh, where I saw the tram earlier, or the red trolley looking thing, that's the city walk. Now, one thing I wanna point out before we go into the city walks here is that right below this building up here called the Techno, Techno Plaza, there's actually this nice like walkway that goes around the building, like at the base of the building. And it seems to be restaurants and stuff. I see people up there hanging out. So that's kind of cool. You can kind of walk along the road without being on the road. So you can probably get away from the traffic. Even though the traffic's not bad in this area at all, but sometimes you have some loud motorbikes and stuff like that. But now let's get into uh, City Walk 1 and 2 and see what that's like. Wow, this City Walk area right here, City Walk 2, actually reminds me a lot of like um, outdoor outlet malls in the United States that you see a lot. Because it's like open aired and inside. One thing that I'm actually noticing in the city walk area is that there's a lot of places under restoration. I don't know if, you know, pre-pandemic, if this was actually a more lively place, uh, because there's a lot of places that look like they're being fixed up and something new is gonna come, maybe a new shop, new store, new restaurant, but there's a lot of vacancy in certain areas around this whole Eastwood city of what I've noticed. 
So I'm curious to know if, you know, four or five years ago, it, it was better, but now it's slowly been rebuilding in the last, you know, one to two years. But still, it's quite beautiful. There's a nice vibe here. It's very chill, it's relaxed. I do like how you have some restaurants outside. As I've noticed, this is where the stars are. You know, I've seen in some photos and videos of somewhere here in Metro Manila where there is that like a uh, Hollywood star walk. And I didn't know that it was here. And I'm actually seeing some international names like Justin Bieber. So that's pretty cool. I thought maybe it would just be names of local Filipinos that maybe are famous or something, but it's also international people, I would say. Very, very cool. I'm gonna go downstairs and take a walk through there. Well guys, bad news. I've come out of the City Walk uh, 2 area and I actually just walked through the City Walk 1. But the reason why I've left there is because some security guard approached me. I saw a security guard kind of like walking parallel to me on the other side and he was radioing. So I think somebody radioed to him and said, oh, somebody's videoing or something. And he told me I can't take videos. And I said, I can't. He said, no, it's a private area. I said, okay, can I just take photos then? He said, no, no photos. I don't understand. I don't have a microphone. I don't have no professional like equipment. It's not like I'm filming a commercial or something. There was uh, girls in there doing TikTok dances right next to where he told me uh, not to film. They never got told anything. I don't really understand. Maybe it's because how they're restoring parts of it. I don't really know, but unfortunately, not allowed to film in there because it's private, he says. So I don't know how much more I'm gonna be filming. So my mood has kind of just been killed. All right, guys, well, as you can see to the sign, City Walk 1 and 2 Central Plaza, that is this whole area here. It's a very, very cool area with lots of restaurants. There's some locals playing music. Uh, trio and they're on the violin and they're on some instruments and singing and stuff very very cool area to go in and just hang out and sit a lot of like bars in there to drink at uh, which I'm not doing but one thing I want to say is that there's actually a lot of cats in this area that are kind of stray um, now like all the other areas are probably taken care of but some of them look in rough condition like bleeding and missing uh, parts of their fur and whatnot I try not to take a video of those parts of the cat as it's very disturbing, but yeah, the cats in this uh, area here don't look very healthy, unfortunately. And it does seem like they're setting up some sort of like music festival in there with these big lanterns, this seating area. So they're gonna have like maybe live events or something uh, this weekend as it is Friday. So they are setting up for that. All right, well, I've come back over here to the open park area, hopefully not to have a problem with uh, filming or something. But I wanna say that I've only had that problem or only have encountered it here in Metro Manila in one other mall. That's the Ayala Circuit Mall in Makati. That's the only other place. Been to Mall of Asia, so many other malls and so many other places and never have had any issue with filming, you know? I don't know, maybe they're hiding something. Well guys, I don't know what else to do. I think maybe there's only a couple other things to do. One is just to walk along this kind of, uh, I don't know, skywalk, I guess you can call it, down the road and maybe try to see the trolley or hop on the trolley if I can. But also I wonder, like, can you go up to one of these towers and watch the sunset? Maybe there's a cafe somewhere up high. I don't know, because it's glowing right now in the background. As you can see, the sun is going to be setting in just about an hour. It's going to be very, very pretty. You can tell with the way the clouds are today. So I wonder, maybe I can ask somebody, but I'm going to walk down the road again on the second floor up here and maybe see if I can uh, catch the trolley and get some shots of it or hop on it. Well guys, I just talked to the lady, the concierge in the mall and asked them if there's a place I can go to see a nice view around here, like really high up. And they said really the only place is the Seoul restaurant, the revolving restaurant on top of uh, some tower. But I looked it up on Google Maps and it is a re uh, Korean restaurant that seems very uh, pricey. And uh, honestly, for one person, for myself to go, mm, I don't think it's really worth it, so I'm gonna completely skip that. But I guess if you stayed in one of these towers, if you were renting an Airbnb, if you're renting a condo, it'd be a, uh, 
it'd be a perfect view, especially during sunset, because it is really going to glow tonight, as I can see. So it doesn't look like I'm going to go up there. And now all there is left to do is maybe catch the trolley, wherever that is. pretty cool free you can just kind of ride around in the loop for as long as you really want to except you don't want to stay on too long because people are getting on and getting off but I basically rode it all the way to the uh, point of where I first came in here to Eastwood City so it was a nice comfortable quick ride but now there's really I guess only one other thing I could do and there is another mall here I could check out the fashion mall so I think I'm just gonna hop in there take a quick walk around see what that's like and then probably end the video here so let's see Well, that was probably the quickest trip I've ever taken in one mall. That cyber and fashion mall there. There's only like two or three floors, really not much in there at all. So I literally went up, went down, and that was it. There's a lot of stuff to eat here, like I said. But to be honest, I think I'm just gonna possibly just hold off until I go back to the BGC area, even though all the restaurants here look very, very good. But as you can see now, all the lights have come on. It is now that festive Christmas time as the uh, evening is rolling in. The sun is actually setting way off in the distance over there. It's looking very orange. Some of the buildings are turning uh, that glowing color. And uh, it's only a matter of moments until security comes after me. But look, we even got some stars here. Well, I'm definitely gonna walk to the entrance of this place to get ready to leave. But as you can see, Lots of bicycles here. Super bike friendly area. A lot of people are riding bikes, commuting to work probably, uh, between where they live and here. That's really nice because I don't see too many people riding bikes in certain other areas of Metro Manila as sometimes it can be intense with all the traffic. That is definitely a wrap on this Eastwood City area. I want to put some final thoughts on it, final words on it when we get back to the BGC area. So I'm just ordering a moto taxi here, waiting for it. And hopefully I can catch a nice sunset on the way back. So see you guys back at BGC. are back in BGC. I'm actually at the Mitsukashi Mall here. Across the street is the uh, barbecue chicken place that I pointed out in one of the last videos. But here I am back at the mall back in BGC. It was one hell of a ride coming back here. I don't know what happened but basically when I was searching for the moto taxi it took about 20 minutes to even get one. It just kept searching and searching. I guess because it's Friday night it can be very difficult to get transportation to where you're going, right? But eventually I got one. Uh, it took about 30 plus minutes because of traffic. Traffic was insane. The traffic got so intense because everyone had left work and whatnot. But thank God, got here safely. And I think my driver might have been new or something because he was a bit slow, which is good because it was more safe, but he wasn't riding in like the bike lane most of the time. He was going in the middle of the lanes making it slower and he had to weave between some cars which was a little bit unsafe but also my driver he went the wrong way it's like he tried to take a shortcut to avoid the traffic or maybe he misread his maps but we ended up by some bridge and like the security guard said no they can't go over the bridge you got to go back around so we had to go back around but the good thing is I did catch a very good sunset view and I tried to get some videos of it also he brought me by an area that you guys have recommended called Bridgestone, where you have that uh, statue of the man. Saw that, I saw the statue of the man, the buildings that were lighting up with the blue, the lights were super cool. We also went by a place called Circulo Verde, which is green circle, I believe in Spanish. And it was so beautiful with all the lights aligning the road. It was like a strip. I don't know if it was like a bunch of restaurants or a mall, whatever it was super super cool 
So even though this guy kind of went the wrong way and made the travel back here even longer, I really got some very beautiful views coming back here, except I had to endure the pain of sitting on a moto taxi for 30 plus minutes in the heavy traffic and man, I was just ready to get off that thing after about 15 minutes. So as you might be able to tell, the audio right now is much better than it normally is. That's because I'm using my main camera that I used to use all the time. But honestly, when I'm traveling in some countries, uh, some destinations, I don't like using it because it's big, it gets in the way, it doesn't have good stabilization like the GoPro, but it's more crispy with the, the sound. So that's why it probably sounds like this. But also I want to mention that on the way back here, we passed like an area where I could see all the buildings lighting up in the background. And it was a bunch of like orange lights across the building. I'll play the clip here so you can see it. But I was curious, like, what area of Metro Manila is that? Was that Makati? Because I don't think I've seen that before, oh, even on my other visits here. So maybe it was Makati, was it Mandaluyong? I don't know, I'm very confused. You guys let me know. Wow, have a look at this, guys. <clears throat> this is what a Friday night looks like here on High Street at the amphitheater section. My favorite place, as I've always said. I don't think I've ever been here on a Friday night like this because it is absolutely just crowded. There's so many people, it looks like they're waiting for a show to happen, but there's no show happening. I mean, I've come here on the weekend, but never, I think this late, well, not this late, but right now it's like seven o'clock, so it's like prime time. But yeah, very, very uh, active here right now. A lot of people out. I'm sure every weekend closer to Christmas is gonna be even more lively. Wow, so that's why there were so many people out here. They were waiting for a show, a fireworks show. I had no idea there was gonna be a fireworks show. Holy crap, that was pretty good. That was like four to five minutes of straight fireworks. And the grand finale was actually excellent. I have never seen so many people out here. No wonder. Well, I'll tell you what, I definitely made the right decision to come down to here in BGC instead of staying in Eastwood City because them fireworks, yeah, that was probably the best. And probably the only time I'm going to see them while being here in Metro Manila. As I said, super glad I made it back here to BGC instead of staying in Eastwood City. Eastwood City was definitely really cool. I can see the San Francisco, maybe California similarities between them two. But honestly, I don't know, it's an okay area. Um, it wasn't super, super impressive to me, but it definitely was very nice, very comfortable. I could see how people would like to live there, work there, stay there, because everything is in a very close area, so you don't really need to walk far or really go far. So even if you're somebody that maybe wants to retire, I feel like you could just retire in that area and stay there because you have all the restaurants you possibly want, you have you know all the shopping, you have probably a good circle, a good uh, community of friends that you can make there. Um, and it's not too far away from everything. I mean, depending on when you go, like when I came back here, the traffic was pretty bad, so I wouldn't want to be commuting from there. But overall, I mean, Pretty nice place, looks like uh, they are working on it to make it maybe a little bit better to open up uh, some new stores, new restaurants as it did seem like some things were being worked on. But also, I don't understand the no filming uh, concept there. What is that about? Uh, luckily, I was able to get a few more video clips and things to say while I was there. But I wanted to show more of the stars and how they kind of go through the city walk and stuff. But right when I went down to that is when the security guard approached me so I wasn't able to uh, show that. But I suppose maybe one of the best things about Eastwood City 
is if you are creating some sort of American lifestyle, American culture, American presence, or whatever it be, you can go there to get a little taste of it. Especially if you're from the U.S. and you want something like that, you can go there without going back to the U.S. and you can feel like you're back in the U U.S. So that is a good thing. And I imagine there's probably a lot of American people that like to go over there and eat at them American restaurants. I mean, I saw so many different ones. There was even Popeyes. I almost caved in for some Popeyes, but I didn't. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed another vlog exploration of a different area here in Metro Manila. Eastwood City was interesting to visit, and it was nice to come back to BGC and see those fireworks. It's a bit smoky now, but it's okay. But I hope you liked the video. If you did, please leave it a like. It definitely helps out. I'll leave a comment below what you thought of it, and I'll see you guys soon, hopefully from another video somewhere around Metro Manila. Peace out, guys. You know, I really wanted to try to get over. Oh, let's do it this way. The sun is coming from this direction. Maybe I can just pop a squat on this table. Oh my God, they got a Wendy's over here. Oh, I should go check out the Wendy's. All right, guys, I have 